All right. Vlog number two. Okay, it's uh, it's October thirtieth, fifteen seventeen, and I am so angry. I am so mad. I could just pound on all the walls. Instead, I'm gonna write down all my thoughts. Got myself a pen. Got myself some paper. I'm just gonna think out loud on my vlog and that will help and I'll just write down some notes. So here's what I'm so mad about. Tetzel. Tetzel. I do not like Mr. Tetzel. So here's the thing. The Bible says that we are sinners. Yeah, okay, I get it. I believe it. And so we need forgiveness. Yes, of course, makes sense. There's something going on in the church. I saw it when I went on my journey to Rome seven years ago. There's so much corruption there. I didn't see people who loved God. I saw people who loved money and therefore people were doing things that were wicked and bad. When people don't love God the most, then we do wicked things. So we need forgiveness, right? We need help to love God the most. So we ask God for help. So that's why I'm so mad at Tetzel. Do you know what Tetzel is doing? He's making it all about money. He's going around from town to town in Germany and he's preaching all of these sermons about how people need to give money for forgiveness. So he's selling indulgences. He has this jingle where he says, no sooner as a coin in the bull rings, a soul from purgatory sings, springs. He's going around and he's telling people that to be forgiven, they have to buy it. And he's scaring them into it. But forgiveness comes from the heart. Every Christian who is truly sorry has the right to get their sins canceled without paying for it. That sounds good, I'm gonna write that down. You know, I could probably make a nice list out of all of these notes. Huh, I might have close to a hundred obje objections when I'm done. Huh. Tetzel, Tetzel, Tetzel doesn't love God. Tetzel loves money and he's doing wicked things. So I just, I want to have a discussion with all the church leaders. So that's what I will do. I will make a very nice list and I will write it in Latin. So only the scholars can read it. And I think tomorrow, maybe around lunchtime, I'm going to just tack it on the castle church door. So I'm looking forward to a respectful and very small conversation with only those people in Wittenberg. All right, Luther out. <laughs>